Zig is a programming language designed for efficiency and control, just like this YouTube channel. Zig emphasizes simplicity, portability, and compatibility with C. So let's create a game in Zig. First, let's import the standard library. We'll define a function called askUser that returns either an integer, i64, or an error. The exclamation point means an error. We'll get the standard input, usually the keyboard, and create a reader to read from it. Then we'll get the standard output, usually the console, and create a writer to write to it. We'll declare a buffer of 10 unsigned 8-bit integers, or bytes, to store the user input. It's initially filled with undefined values. We'll print a prompt message to the standard output, asking the user to guess a number. The try keyword indicates that the function can return an error, and if it does, the error will be propagated up to the caller of the function. We'll try to read the user's input until a new line character or the end of the file is reached. If successful, the input is stored in user input. Here we'll parse the user input as an i64 integer in base 10 and return it. Else if no input was read, because the input was empty, we'll return an error called invalid param. Now we'll define the main function, which is the entry point of the program. It returns either a void or an error. We'll get the standard output and create a writer to write it. Here we'll initialize a pseudo random number generator with a random seed. The BLK block is used to create a scope for variables. We'll declare a variable called seed to store the random seed. And we'll fill the seed variable with random bytes. Then we'll exit the BLK block and use seed as the result value. And don't forget to add the semicolon here. Now we'll generate a random number between 1 and 100 using the previously initiated random number generator. And we'll start an infinite loop to repeatedly ask the user for guesses. We'll call the ask user function to get the user's guess. If the user's guess is equal to the random number, break out of the loop. We'll print a message to inform the user if their guess was too low or too high. The message is determined in line with the print function using a conditional expression. Finally, we'll print a message informing the user that they have guessed the correct number. Now let's test the game out. No, 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 yes. You can now put Zig Game Developer on your resume.